before I start, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Can you please answer by raising your hand? Can anyone access the internet in this room? Can you access the internet when you're at home? Does anybody want to throw their phone out the window when they can't refresh their Twitter feed or their Facebook feed? Me too. Project, Project Loon could be the answer to that. To start off, I'm going to talk about three aspects of Project Loon. Firstly, a bit about the project and its history. Secondly, how it actually works. And thirdly, who it will affect. First, a bit about Project Loon. It started, in tw it started in 2013, a trial run in New Zealand. Subsequently being successful, it was then tried in Thailand, Brazil, and here in America, in California. It's researched and developed by Google with the mission of bringing Wi-Fi and internet access to rural and remote places around the world via altitude balloons, which I'll explain more. In science, the project. 4.8 billion people are currently offline. You are the lucky one third of the population who are currently online. Why don't they have access? Natural disasters such as tsunamis, tornadoes, earthquakes ruin the hearts of cities, not allowing them internet access. Lack of infrastructure, destroyed or maybe not even built yet. Lack of money, poverty, or in some cases, cannot afford it as in internet is a luxury, not a priority. Moving on. Secondly, how it works. As you can see, the balloon is made from a weird material. It is called Raven Astestro, Raven Astestro blended with polythene. This, the balloon is suppressed with helium. As it enters the atmosphere, it slowly expands. It is 12 metres wide and 15 metres high. How it connects to people. So has anyone seen the Simpsons movie here? When, when Springfield has the big bowl come around them and nobody can escape. This is what the internet, this is what the balloons kind of do. It uses the balloons to go out in a vast area of space, locking people in, not locking them in effectively, but giving them Wi-Fi in that area. The balloons are filled with a box, which is, which is filled with fourth generation long-term evolution, known as 4LTE. It is used as a base station and uh, uses a base station and deployed on the air, on the balloons which are airborne. Oh sorry, can you go back actually please? So the balloons help create this massive online platform of network between the balloons. Floating around in the sky, a bit like a spider's web. Give remote areas access to the internet via radio stations, telecoms, which will help increase your capacity, but the 4 LTE, a bit like your 4G, gives people internet access. Where do they float? The stratosphere. It's the first layer of the Earth's atmosphere, 35, 31 miles from the Earth, above planes and the weather. The stratosphere wind changes depending on what layer you're in. A bit like when you're driving your car and you're going into a different city or a different place, we have to adapt and change your speed. The balloons float around in the stratosphere, picking up signals from one another, using the 4LTE system to give you access to the internet. So, how will it affect you? Well, I know a lot of you Americans are gamers. This will help prevent you from losing connection. And also will help the 5 billion people, if not 4.8 billion people currently offline. Who it affects the most? Children without education. Children without education. Children these days have to walk miles into some remote parts of the country just to get an education. Something we take for granted in this country. How can they get education? Well, with internet access, they can access online classes, learning platforms, online libraries, giving them a basic education. The world's health. How do you stop an epidemic at the source? Countries will have to inform people earlier of diseases spreading, illnesses. For example, Ebola, if, if the platform was up and running then, <clears throat> it, would have, it would have been able to be stopped at the source, 
spreading it, stopping it from spread from other countries. To conclude, today I've given you an insight into what Project Loon is, how it works, and who it affects. Again, how would it affect you? As I've already said, it will affect your online gaming. Plenty more fish in the sea. What do, what do I mean by that? Well, the survey will be a big internet, will be a big net over the world, giving, giving you, you the chance to meet the man or woman of your dreams. Any questions? Thank you very much.